Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Friday, May 19th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. To say Elon Musk has an outsized profile would be something of an understatement. The same can't be said for the cast of executives helping run his various companies. One of those key people is Tesla's chief financial officer, Zach Kirkhorn. Kirkhorn is widely admired, according to others at the company, for his ability to navigate the demands of his boss and execute Musk's vision for the company. Here's Kirkhorn on the company's first quarter earnings call with investors. I want to reiterate the philosophy by which we're operating the business this year. Our approach is to grow volumes as quickly as possible in both our vehicle and energy businesses. We plan to continue to invest heavily into our future plans, which include the Cybertruck, next generation platform, in-house cell production, energy storage business, and our autonomy and AI enabled products. And we plan to do this while keeping the business financially healthy and industry leading. Since Kirkhorn became CFO four years ago, Tesla's value has risen from about $50 billion to now more than $500 billion. So who is he, and how did he come to play such a key role? With me to discuss that is our Tesla reporter, Rebecca Elliott. Rebecca, give us some brief background on who Kirkhorn was before he joined Tesla. A number of the folks who've been really successful at Tesla over the years have been there really since the early days. So Kirkhorn was promoted to CFO in early 2019, but started at the company much earlier in 2010 when Tesla was still private and much smaller, of course, than it is today. He he was interested in cars back in college. Kirk Horn was a leader on the University of Pennsylvania's solar car team, and one of his college projects involved redesigning a remote control car to make it amphibious. So able to travel on land and in water. You certainly see that interest in cars and in sustainability flowing through the arc of his career. Can you tell us a bit about his managerial style? What do people who work with him say it's like? He's earned a reputation over the years for what I would describe as a firm and also collegial management style. He's won allies throughout the organization by serving as an intermediary of sorts between Musk and the rest of the staff, and also evidently is able to navigate the relationship with Musk quite well. It's something that numerous executives over the years have struggled with. And it's an area where, based on my interviews with folks who've worked with both of them, it's an area where Kirkhorn excels. Do we know why he's particularly good at working with Musk? By all accounts, he's a financial whiz. He is an engineer by training as well, which has gone a long way in an organization that really prizes engineering. And he's also willing to work behind the scenes to execute Musk's vision. Tesla's a company where engineering is really front and center. And for Kirkhorn to have that background, engineering training, it's allowed him to probe issues and ask questions that people I've spoken to have described as being really smart and something that you might not be able to do if you didn't have that technical training. The value of Tesla has grown significantly since sure. Kirkhorn became CFO. What do we know about his role in doing that? Kirkhorn has been described to me as someone who has worked over the years really tirelessly to make incremental improvements. He's very focused on improving efficiency, bringing costs down, simplifying Tesla's products. And so all of that is baked into a lot of what Tesla's done. The company also has raised a considerable amount of money under Kirkhorn, and 
it's left Tesla with really a considerable war chest of cash and investments that in addition to its level of profitability and margins have set it up in relatively good shape heading into this period of economic uncertainty and concerns about a cooling car market. What do investors make of Kirkhorn? And particularly, what do they make of him since Musk bought Twitter, which he said at a Tesla shareholder meeting earlier this week had been a short-term distraction? Sure. I mean, as you mentioned, Musk's acquisition of Twitter last year sparked questions and concerns from Tesla investors about Musk's level of attention to the company. Twitter, I think it's uh, very safe to say, is <laughs> quite the management challenge and has been time consuming. And so that move of Musk's really prompted a lot more conversation among investors about, okay, who else is there at Tesla kind of steering the ship? And Kirkhorn is one of the key folks behind the scenes. Does that mean that he is who they're thinking of as a possible successor to Musk? Tesla board members have discussed Kirkhorn as a possible successor to Musk as CEO, and that's according to a person familiar with the matter. Kirkhorn's name came up ahead of a trial over Musk's compensation package at Tesla. That being said, some board members have expressed doubts that Musk would step aside in the foreseeable future. You've mentioned Kirkhorn is great at being behind the scenes, but he is helping to build this company. Do we know anything about what his vision is for Tesla and what it could become? Tesla is a company, at the end of the day, that is almost synonymous with Musk in many ways. And in the conversations that I had, folks kept coming back to this point of Kirkhorn's really been executing Musk's vision <laughs> for Tesla and been doing that behind the scenes for a while. And so I think it's maybe difficult to separate the two. All right. That was our Tesla reporter, Rebecca Elliott. And that's it for Tech News Briefing this week. TNB's producer is Julie Chang. Our supervising producer is Melanie Roy. And our executive producer is Chris Zinsley. I'm your host, Zoe Thomas. Thanks for listening and have a great weekend.